So Marianne, please tell me, uh, in Tatiana, how many uh, SKUs or how many prints are there in the entire line? There are 21 pieces in this collection. In multiple At, colorways? In two colorways. Oh, nice. What I typically do with my collections is um, order, offer a lot of crossover. Right. Um, and now let me back up. I want to make sure I understand. Crossover meaning that from one color story to the next, they can use them in multiple quilts? Absolutely. Okay, thank you. Uh, there are blenders in this collection. I have three shades of gray, three shades of green, right. two shades of neutral, and one red. But all of these blenders, for the most part, can work on either side. Right. So it gives the quilter a lot more variety and potential and nice. options for making their projects. Oh, fabulous. <laughs> now, you were sharing with us a little while ago about one of your special new blenders you just did. Would you like to explain a little bit more? Sure. I was very intrigued with the texture um, of some of the right. antique fabrics where their backgrounds are linen weave. Right. And I wanted to reproduce that for the quilter because we don't want to use a linen cloth it's too scratchy and sure. heavy and not washable right. so we want that beautiful cotton and so I've made a beautiful linen texture and it really has been a key component to this group in tying all the quilts together right. let's show it in the quilt let's get a little close-up on that Go ahead and point it out. Uh, this beautiful uh, red fabric is the new linen texture oh. And I'm hoping you can hear my silly voice, but you can really, in person, get a fabulous texture. We're not sure if it's filming great. Sure looks like it's doing okay, though. And it really has a fabulous, fabulous feel to it when it's all done. And beautiful quilting, by the way. And um, I've offered this in multiple colors, the vanilla, the charcoal. Um, there's also a green, and it really is a key piece to this group in uh, enabling quilters to pull all the fabrics together. Fabulous. And let's bounce real quick over to your other colorway within the product line because I don't think anyone's got to see that yet and we can talk a little bit more because you also do patterns, right? All these I, are patterns you've created, is that yes, true? Yes, they're all my original pattern designs. Um, sometimes I have an inspiration, uh, the quilt... Uh, <laughs> that I'm in the way of? That you're in the way of. The <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> okay, the culture you're in the way of is called Love and Joy. And my inspiration for this was um, antique English frame quilts, which are also very popular in Australia uh, and have been uh, since the beginning of that uh, British colonization. Oh, fabulous. And being that you are internationally recognized, you must have a website or something like that where folks can order from you, find out more information. You're talking about Australia. We're standing in Portland, Oregon. Tell us more. Absolutely. My website is MarianneElizabeth.com. And I'm always happy to answer questions from people, Great. direct you to a local quilt shop. If you can't find them locally, um, we can ship them, and I do ship worldwide Great. because, unfortunately, not everyone has a quilt shop where they live. That is a sad thing. Maybe we could go around like spotting, we could uh, start a quilt show shop chain. No, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> so. We've got a couple colorways in this. You've got wonderful new patterns. You've got wonderful new fabric. I guess I'm dying to know because I've dabbled a little in fabric. How many collections have you done? And I guess kind of as a follow-up question to that, you know, does it get easier? Does it get more difficult? Tell me a little bit of how you like to work on the design side, please. Um, I've done over 20 different fabric oh collections. My goodness. I, I, it might even be over 30. I don't. I've stopped counting. <laughs> okay, that's um, a lot. Great. But each one. I'm really excited by it. I, they're my babies. I right. love doing them. I find the color work um, and the creativity involved in creating the new fabrics just so much fun. That's where my that's where my love is and my heart is. And I think you can see that because every collection is a little bit different, offers a, a fresh a fresh new look at something. But also, I do manage to keep. A certain continuity between them so the people who are retailing my fabrics right. as well as the uh, uh, quilters who are buying them right. find that um, they can use pieces from one collection oh, that with is so the important. next. So Marianne, after 20, 30 collections of fabric that we've lost track of, do you find evolution a challenge? I find it really exciting and invigorating. Good. I mean, it's so much fun and that's what makes this whole thing um, a blast because everything evolves 
and I get to evolve with it. Right. This particular quilt that we're standing in front of, my inspiration for this was to show that people that I can be modern too. Right. I'm known for my traditional florals and toiles, um, and people don't, when they hear modern quilts, they don't think Mary Ann Elizabeth. Right. But I think I've effectively showcased here, uh, this quilt has a nice transparency, and um, the floral, which is typically the major print in a collection, is just used as a tiny accent. It's really the colors and the graphicness of this quilt that create that really modern look for quilters who are afraid to go um, way to the end of modern. And, and it's very doable. This pattern is very doable for the average quilter. That's great that you're keeping up and pushing and always trying to evolve as well. That's, I think that's very forward of you, awesome. So, what folks may or may not realize is as a designer, you're working twice a year, I'm assuming, for two different markets every six months. I mean, how do you keep up with the pace? I, well, truthfully, I'm always designing. Okay. I have four or five design boards where there are collections on them. Right. And I'm simultaneously working on all of them. And working, what are you using? I use Electric Quilt for, for my quilt and pattern designs. That makes sense. Um, but I, when I start the fabric collections, right. I'm, I'm starting really with an inspiration. Right. Um, it might be a photograph, it might be an antique swatch. Right. Um, I might have a color palette in mind, and from that, I um, the designs evolve. So really, I'm starting with a blank sheet of paper right. or a blank canvas uh, that sure. I work on, and that um, in two to three months, I've got a, um, the collection created. And do you work your own scale for your repeat, or do you have some studio help with something like that? Because I would assume, of course you know what happens when you assume, as a pattern designer, as well as a fabric designer, your prints work very nicely for the kind of patterns you like. So you must have some involvement in the repeat process. As part of the design process, I decide what size I want every pattern in the collection to be. Right. But it's the RJR Fabric Studio right. um, that's associated with the mills in Japan. Right. that actually uh, set the final repeat in um, because it has to be exactly right oh. to fit the technical machinery and production equipment. I, so. I've been there. I understand that. Absolutely. Yeah. And for me, I always found that I enjoyed the design so much that the, the folks that are terrific at the technical be terrific at technical and I get to go back to designing as well. So Exactly. What a fabulous collection you've put forward. Very romantic. I hope it's showing as wonderful on film as it does here in person. And I will say thank you so much for spending some time with us. However, Throw your website out there at least, or give a quick plug, would you? Absolutely. It's MarianneElizabeth.com. A lot of the patterns and quilts that are hanging on the wall are headed to quilt magazines. So quilters will be able to find them over the next few months to give them inspiration as to what to do with the fabrics that I've designed. And that's great because it's all here, it's all live, and it's ready to ship, right? Exactly. Bravo. Come here. Give me a big hug. You did terrific. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much.